Hi, everybody, and welcome. We are surrounded today by pageantry and tradition. Check out this scene. We've got high hopes for another exciting college football game. We've got a really compelling contest here, a team that's earned a top 25 ranking heading on the road for a serious test of their poise and their mettle. As we'll see the number 16 team in the land, the Boise State Broncos, taking on another team from the Mountain West, the New Mexico Lobos. 3A Sports College Football. I'm Chris Fowler here in the booth with Kirk Herbstreit. I think we've talked long enough, Kirk. Let's get this game going. The Broncos will kick this deep to start us off. And it comes out of the 25. No return attempted there. The Lobos offense trots out there to open this game. And as this quarterback takes the field, eager to see how he plays today, there's a certain gravity about him. You can tell from the warm-up song the way the team responds and rallies around him. Can he come through on a big stage here? Yep, yeah, this guy is their Superman. And when that opening kickoff is kicked up into the air, his cape goes on. He sets everything into place, gets the offense out of jams, does it in pressure situations. He's the arms and legs of this offensive system, but also the heart of this team. Getting set. Here's second down. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. Jukes to get free. He stopped out at the 42. That's a solid gain getting closer to midfield. You know, offensive linemen are just a certain breed. They're always going to do their job, no matter who's back there carrying the ball. I'll tell you what, they have a little bit more confidence when the person that's carrying the ball can break off some big-time runs. That makes them block just a little bit harder knowing what he's potentially capable of doing. Makes a nice move there. Tackled up near midfield at the 48. Great job by the offensive line here, opening up some holes and giving the running back room to run on first down. Plays like this can open up the playbook for the play caller, allow him to make that defense think, are they going to run? Maybe play action, maybe throw the ball downfield. Second down after that run on the previous play. He'll take a deep shot. But this one is broken up, falls incomplete. Well, this defense has got to be aware that this quarterback and this offense coordinator, they're not afraid to take shots. Here we see it early in this game, throwing the ball downfield. Defense has got to be aware. Keep those safeties back. Keep your eyes up. Try to keep a lid on this offense and look for some turnover opportunities. After the incompletion, they'll come to the line for a third and four. To throw, it's Dampier. The pass rush closing in. And the senior making a disruptive impact play. It just looked like the quarterback was holding on to the ball a bit too long that time, allowed the defense to be able to get the pressure, and they come up with the first sack of the game. And the Lobos will bring their punt team on the field now. And the coverage team able to bring the returner to the ground. So Boise State's offense gets their first crack now. All right, Kirk, let's take a quick look at the impact players for today's game and how they're going to affect the outcome. These are your leaders on the field and in the locker room. These are your go-to guys, not only when you need a play to be made, but also when you need somebody to rally your team. He's talking, but he gets out across the 25-yard line. Boy, it's so easy to get caught up in the receivers and the quarterback and your eyes get lost. You forget about the running back. Nice catch and a first down for this offense. The drive stays alive with that completion for a first down. And he'll set up to throw. That one falls incomplete. Good defensive play. Brings up second down. Off play action, he's looking to throw. And this time it's complete. Defense wraps him up after the catch, but he's just short of the first down. I think a 
it's important to kind of let your quarterback get into a rhythm early in the game. Sure, you'd love to see the big gains, but plays like this allow the quarterback to get settled into the game, find his rhythm, and then he can make the bigger plays later on. Offense needing to keep this drive alive. It's a third down play. Try and muscle for the first down. It's a hard running there through a tackle. And the Broncos are going to keep this drive moving. Well, sometimes it's just a backyard brawl, right? I mean, it's third down and short. You trust your back and the line to be able to pick up the first down. And he literally pushes with everything he has, throwing a haymaker there at the finish of that play to pick up the first down. First down. We're going to throw the football. Makes a quick catch. He stopped the receiver, but that's a solid gain on that play. Any good offense has to have a reliable, quick to intermediate passing game. Even though that wasn't enough for the first down, it's plays like this that help you sustain drives and not get stuck with third down and long. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. They call the counter play here. Uh, they test the middle of the defense, but get nothing. It was an excellent effort by this defense, just staying in their run fits, holding their own at the line of scrimmage, and then making a tackle. Offense just couldn't get enough of a push to get any yards at all. An important third down attempt for this offense. The short completion of the tight end. The Broncos pick up enough yards to move the sticks. Well, this is called settling down in his own defense, just kind of finding that soft spot. So not only does this tight end show that he's got great athletic ability and great size, here he shows that he understands coverage by sitting down in that hole, giving the quarterback a nice target, able to pick up that first down. On the shotgun, it's a handoff. Tackled behind the line, it's a loss of two. Chris, this is what I love to see from a defense. As the linebackers are scraping, doing their job, but you need help from the secondary. And when you have aggressive tacklers on the back end, you got a great defense. This time, the secondary makes the difference. Here's the second down play. Looking for some space. It's Bajanti. And they've got him, the defense, with a tackle for a loss to wrap up the first quarter of play. So, Kirk, we reached the end of one. So far, a defensive stalemate here in the early stats illustrating the story. As we get lined up here for quarter number two, we'll see if the offenses can get going. They didn't do much in the opening quarter. Drops back, looking to throw for it on third down. There's a wide open receiver complete. And a huge gain. They finally bring him down at the 11. You know, a lot of times, college quarterbacks, they're more comfortable working to the outside. Here's an example of a quarterback with a full field read, and he hits a big play in the middle. And the Broncos hustle to the line to run the hurry up. <laughs> Trying the run, it's Bajanti. They finally bring him down at the five. Offense really threatening now. Man, you know, the back gets a lot of the attention here, and he's a good back. But I love to see that offensive line win the battle of the line of scrimmage. So here comes second down now. Every play important down here in the red zone. And the quarterback dropping back. Makes the catch. Can he get in? Doesn't quite get in, but it sets up a first and goal for this offense. The Broncos trying to punch it in. It's first and goal. Try to muscle toward the end zone on the ground. Fights his way into the end zone. Touchdown, BSU. Well, that's an example right there of what vision and patience and ability can do for a running back. He was on a mission to get into the end zone, and really, he made it look easy.
And they get set now to try the PAT. PAT makes it 7 0. That makes the score 7, New Mexico, 0. Kickoff team on the field getting set now. Set to advance on the football. He's going to return it from near the goal line. Solid job by the coverage team. They bring him down at the 16. New Mexico's offense retakes the field now. Last drive stalled. They were forced to punt it away. Let's see what they can come up with this time. And that pass is hauled in over the middle. And runner brought down, but looks like there's a flag on the field. Let's see what this is about. Pretty easy call for the head coach. He will accept that penalty, of course. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? To throw, it's Dampier. The pocket breaking down. On the junior, gets home making a sack there. This is good pressure by the defense, but it just felt like the quarterback was holding on to the ball a little bit too long, which allowed the defense to get home. Second down and long now from their own six. Here's the snap. Quarterback looking to throw. But they don't make the connection. That one is incomplete. Well, a serious challenge for this offense. You don't want to be in third and long inside your own 20. How much of a risk will they take to try to pick up this first down? Snags the quick throw. Defense able to stop it. It's fourth down now. Great job here by the defense. Third down and long. You drop back in coverage. Keep everything in front of you. Force that quarterback to have to check the ball down. And then you rally to the football to force his fourth down. Great job Number here by the D. The Lobos will send the punt team onto the field. Looking to kick it away for the second time. Oh, he's got a crease here. Look out. The returner is brought down. It's a start for the next drive. And here comes the Boise State offense back out on the field. They scored a touchdown on the last possession. Let's see if this defense has been able to come up with some adjustments and stop them this time. The defense coordinator this week all week telling us about gap integrity, not giving this running back any creases at all. Really sound defense on that play. It's the two-minute warning of this close, competitive first half. Second down after that previous play. Quarterback drops back, probing the secondary. Grab behind the line, it's Ajanti. Defense reacts quickly, a very short gain on the play. Hey, it's a game, but you get the sense that this offense wanted a little bit more from that play. Crucial third down play right here. Drop him back. We're going to throw for the first down. There's a shot toward the end zone. And it's incomplete. They let it fly on third down, but now it brings up fourth. Well, they go to the air to try to pick up this first down, but it just wasn't meant to be. Defense was ready, made sure to force them into this fourth down situation. And the Broncos will line up to punt it away. And this punt heads toward the sideline. Doesn't travel very far. Here comes the New Mexico offense back on the field. If they want to cut into this lead before halftime, they have to work quickly now. First down, we're going to throw the ball. And it's incomplete. The defender arrived at the same time as the football. And now it's second down. What a hit there by the defender. Tough for the receiver to hold on to the football when he has that kind of contact. Good, clean play by the defense. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? Looking to throw. It's Dampier. And this pass is caught. And the runner scoots out of bounds after gaining some decent yardage. 
just a good job here by the quarterback. Got the ball out to his receiver. His guy eats up some yards. They stay ahead of the sticks. High completion sets up an important third down play. There's the snap. Looking to throw the ball. Can't hold on. Good defensive play. Brings up a fourth down. Man, on your own side of the field, you're playing a risky game here. Third and short. Your goal should just be keep this drive alive the best way you can sometimes is just hand the ball off to your running back and have him get behind Number that man. offensive line and go to work. I'm curious to see what they do now here on this fourth and short. No kick it away here. And the fair catch signal for him taken. And the Boise State offense is back out on the field. They're looking to build on the lead. They had to punt the football in their last possession. Let's it fly out of the wide out. He's got it for a big game. They bring him down, but the drive has now reached the 35. Always have to be careful on the sideline not to step out accidentally. The wide receiver does a good job here on the route to bring the ball in while on a tightrope. The offense will set up on first and 10. And he drops back in the gun. Quick throw over the middle. And the defender gets a hand in there to break the pass up. That's a good job here by this defense, especially the linebacker man coverage, but the quarterback needs some help here from his intended target. He needs to be able to find a guy that can separate and pull away from man coverage to be able to make any play at all. Now it's second down here. And the quarterback drops back looking for an open man. Short throw complete to the tight end. So the offense calls a timeout here. That's their first of the half. Chris, we get so caught up in these wide receivers and their playmaking ability and getting them the ball in space. And, right, the defense has to pay attention to them. Often too much attention opens up an underneath drag route like this, and quarterback makes a good read. Nice first down. The offense with five receivers now, empty backfield. After the incompletion, QB tries it again on second and ten. Looks downfield and finds a receiver who worked his way wide open. They're not going to get him. He's in. Touchdown, Boise State. Such a well-designed play here by this offense to find a way to get the ball to the gifted tight end. He's got the size, he's got the speed, he's a difficult matchup, and here he shows he's got the speed to take it all the way into the end zone for that touchdown. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. The extra point is good, and they stretch the lead a little bit more. That makes the score. Boise State, 14, New Mexico, 0. So the offense gets momentum scoring before halftime. Now the kickoff will see if the defense can get a stop and preserve that momentum. Fielded in the end zone. It's Sanders. And he's brought down at the 16. They've been better off leading it in the end zone for a touchback. And the Lobos' offense is back at it. It'd be a surprise if they took a risk here with the final seconds of the first half backed up near their own end zone. They make the tackle, but that pass creates a solid game. One thing we know for sure, I don't know as a play caller, you can make that call without a quarterback who can throw it with a big arm. He put that on a rope. And that will do it for the first half here. Kevin Connors now has our halftime update. Guys, looks like you've got a great atmosphere today in Albuquerque. And I get it. A lot of coaches will say the difference between winning and losing comes down to stopping big plays and getting big plays. But if you ask me, it's more about how good you are on third down and how efficient you are in keeping drives alive. Those two stats can help you break the will of even the best defenses and help you come out on top. And on that note, time to throw it back to our guys at the stadium.
the Lobos will kick this away to get the second half going. Fields it inside the five-yard line. And he's tackled at the 21. That's where the drive will start. Here comes the Boise State offense back out on the field. First play of the third quarter is a handoff. And the tackle is made after a four-yard gain. So second and six. Nice job here of controlling the line of scrimmage by this offensive line. The back does what he needs to do to get positive yards on first down. The game makes it second and medium. Play action fake looking to throw. Receiver makes the catch. They bring him down, but an explosive play by this offense. Big game. How about the arm strength from this quarterback? He really didn't have any other option than to put it right in there and give it everything that he had. Great timing and a good job of squeezing that in between the defenders. The Broncos come to the line looking to crank up the tempo. Off the play fake, looking to throw. And he just throws it away there. Safe move. Had nobody open. Second down play coming up. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. Brought down, but the game moves the ball all the way to the plus 42. Well, these are the type of runs that begin to wear down your defense psychologically. Already have the lead, come out with a nice big gain, and this defense is thinking, oh no, here we go again. Really nice statement here to get this second half started. And they'll give it to the back. No shot to bring him down. They get him down, but the junior with an excellent run there. Well, here's the first play to start this second half, and it's really more the same of what we saw in the first half. Really no need to make drastic changes. What you're doing in that first half gave you the lead. Just keep working on it. And the Broncos begin a new series here, first and ten. From the shotgun, here's an inside give. Tackled behind the line, it's a loss of two. Well, that was that excellent linebacker with a clear path just running downhill quickly. You know, I think one of the great things about watching this guy play all year is his vision. It, he just has great instincts. That time, the defensive line ate up all the linemen, freed up the linebacker to get into the backfield, and the result is a tackle for a loss for the backer. I'm going to hand it off to the back. It's a short game, but look at that defense swarm to the football. See, that's how you limit what an offense wants to do. This time, the defense just won the battle up front at the line of scrimmage, not giving up any big plays. Everybody's gap sound, and it's really solid defense on that play. Now it's third and short from the 22. You expect this is four down territory. Let's see what they do on third down. Dropping back, we're going to throw for the first down. Running out of time in the pocket. But just gives up on the play, throws it away, and now it's fourth down. Hey, it's an incompletion, but it's a nice job by the quarterback. I know it didn't pan out, but the most important thing is he didn't turn the football over and he didn't take a sack. It'll give your kicker a chance to put some points on the board if they opt for the field goal here on fourth down. So here on fourth down, out comes the field goal team. And he knocks that one right through. And that will extend their lead even further. Oh, Chris, it's a nice kick here to polish off that drive with at least three points up on the board. So after building this big lead, they're set to kick it off. Fields it just outside the goal line. 
Not much on the return. They'll stop him at the 24. Good coverage. New Mexico's offense retakes the field now. They'll run it from the gun. Picks up two, so it's second and eight. Defense does a really nice job here of being able to contain that run game, held him just to two yards. Chris, to me, this changes the playbook a little bit now for the offense. The guy calling the plays at second and eight, that's a different deal. Now he's got him probably thinking about going through the air instead of staying on the ground. Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. Breaks loose at the 40. Stop at the 43, but that's enough to make the first down. Sometimes I almost get mesmerized watching these runners who have great vision. You know, the eyes that carry their feet to the open space, making people miss. I just love watching those guys do work. First and 10 now for the offense. Offense will keep it on the ground here. Stop right there at the line, no gain. Boy, how about this defense? Just so physical against the run. These guys have not been able to do anything on the ground, and it's because of that defensive line and those linebackers taking away the run game. Offense getting set. It's second down. Dropping back. It's Dampier. There's a screen pass to the running back. And they bring him down. Blockers, not much help on the screen there. He's short of the first down. Good time here to drop this screen in for the offensive coordinator. And a nice job by the running back being able to pick up some positive yards here on this play. Offense coming to the line. They might have a chance for a couple more plays before we reach the end of the quarter. Drops back, needing a third down completion here. Grab near the sticks. It's Davis. Tackle made at the 41. That's first down yardage. So Kirk Boise State is in front. And they got to be feeling pretty good about things as we wrap up the third quarter. Let's review how we got here. And now entering the final period of play, is there an epic comeback in store? We're going to find out. On first and ten here, looking to throw the ball. He's moving out of the pocket. Finds room at the 30. He'll avoid the big hit with the slide. Chris, watch him work through his progressions here. Finds the first and the second option aren't there. By the third option, he's got to pull it down and try to pick up some positive yards, of which he did, and then he slides down to avoid the big hit. And the Lobos getting set on first and ten. And from the shotgun, an inside handoff. You know, in the era that we live in right now, everybody wants to spread the field around, try to create space, try to create one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the defense has countered over the years by trying to play out wide. But here's a great example of a defense has the ability to play wide, but still be solid at the line of scrimmage and not give up big run plays. The Lobos looking to cash in this red zone trip. Handoff here from the shotgun. The junior able to bring him down quickly. He's brought down. Offense looking to keep the drive alive. It's third down. They'll give it to the back. Good enough for first down yardage. Well, that shows you the trust they have in their offensive line in this running game. They get to a third down, just trying to come up with a way to be able to keep this drive alive, keep hope alive that you can come back in this game. You rely on old reliable with that offensive line, and they come through for you. And the Lobos looking to crank up the tempo a bit. Looking to pass this time. Nice grab. It's Davis. We get him down quickly. Not much of a gain on that completion. Chris, it's so much fun to watch the athleticism at the wide receiver position nowadays. The ability to make plays on the outside is extraordinary. And they bring a certain toughness, too, that catches my eye. Coming to the line on second down, this is important. They want to avoid a third and long. Scanning the field. It's Dampier. He's running out of time here. Trying to create outside the pocket, but they've got him for a sack. Well, that takes the wind right out of your sails. This offense is trying to find a way to get back into this game. And another pressure and a sack against their quarterback. The offense two for two on third downs in this drive, but this will be tough. It's third and long.
From the gun, he looks for an open man. And he'll loft it to the end zone. And it's picked off in the end zone. Boy, would this quarterback love to have this one back. They're trying to work themselves back into this game here in the second half. And the defense comes up with a big turnover that could be the nail in the coffin. And the Boise State offense is back out on the field. They settled for a field goal last time out. They're looking for the end zone here, no doubt. And they'll work the clock here by keeping it on the ground. Boy, we got a smart offensive coordinator on our hands today, Chris. Great job of just keep feeding this running back, keep it on the ground, working with the lead in the fourth quarter, force them to use all their timeouts, and just keep working that clock. And that's the two-minute warning. This offense looking to run out the clock and secure an impressive win here today. Important second down play coming up. He hands it off from the gun. Not much on that play. Brought down short. It's the run man. Offense been in reverse here. Now a long way to go to convert this third down. And they'll run it out of the shotgun. He shreds the tackle. They'll stop him at the 34. That will be a first down. You know, sometimes, Chris, we get caught up in the speed and the quickness, and obviously those are important assets to have as a running back. But what you just saw from this guy, and he's had a pretty good day, is his ability to break tackles in the open space. And he gets through those arm tackles. You can see what he's capable of doing after being able to shake free with the speed that he has. They'll hand it off. Running with purpose. Chris, you know, the spread error over the years has always grown offensively. But what I've been always impressed with the defenses that really build their defense to play in space still have an ability to be sound at the line of scrimmage and defend a running game. It's exactly what we saw right there. Second down after that run on the previous play. Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. And he'll be brought down here on the final play of this game. 